morning guys. Sorry I didn't test yesterday but it was Katie's ninth birthday and we just hit the ground running and the amount of time it takes to film and edit and upload a video up here is it wasn't worth it so I just skipped it. I literally didn't test yesterday even on my own so um, it is 12 DPL for me and I'm going to do the easy at home uh, midstream the Easy at Home um, test strip, a BFP test strip, and an Acumed test strip. Um, people have been asking me why I'm doing so many tests, and I discussed this in my um, cycle update video, but if you missed that, um, Easy at Home sent me these tests to test for free because I had a really bad experience with their tests last cycle. Um, Acumed, I got super cheap from one of those discount sites, and uh, the BFP is my trusted brand. So this is what I would have been taking even if I wasn't taking all of these. So that is why I'm taking so many tests today. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Acumed because it takes longer to process. So let's get this show on the road. Okay, starting with the Acumed. One, two, three, four, five. Well, this is what the Easy at Home test strip looks like today. All of the cotton falling out of it. So, I mean, clearly I'm not going to do that one. Do you think I could shove it back in and have it work? I mean, it's not going to go back in. Yeah, you know, I've discussed it before, Easy at Home, with the lack of quality control but there's you know just another example let me grab another one in my bag of pregnancy tests all right one two three four five six seven i'm gonna dip the bad one just to see what happens so here's the thing, the, the cotton is what leads it up to the dye, which is right underneath there. So if we dip it, <laughs> there's no capillary action because it's not pulling from here. Literally, it's just a garbage test. Oh, hey, something is moving across. All right, we'll see what happens with that. That's bizarre. I didn't think it would work at all. Because there's no other cotton in there. All right, I'm setting this aside, aside. <laughs> okay, BFP. One, two, three, four, five. And the easy at home midstream is 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And I will be back to check on those in three minutes. Okay, it's been three minutes. Let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to start with the BFP. Mm, nothing on there. Okay. And then let's do the good easy at home one. Nothing. Okay, and then the wonky easy at home one. Okay, and then the Acumed.
and then be easy at home midstream. Okay, so this is 12 DPO for me, um, which means I typically start my period tomorrow. And, um, you know, I, I, I've been really crampy today, and I feel like my period is coming on. Um, and it's fine. It's, it sucks. But at least I didn't have a cycle of false positives, and at least I have the overcue to look forward to next cycle. So, um... I'm not going to let it get me down, um, and I know you're not out until Aunt Flo shows up, so I am going to try to keep my attitude up until tomorrow. I just, I just don't feel like this is the cycle, you know, I just, you know, do you ever get that feeling that it's, I don't, I don't think this is it, but that's okay because I have a lot of good things coming next cycle if this isn't the one. Um, we have opted to leave early tomorrow, so I will record before I leave if I do another live pregnancy test, but it probably won't go up until we get back to Florida. Um, my sister got into a really bad car accident the day after Christmas, and we need to go back so my dad can help her get her car back on the road. Um, so, the, you know, family is more important than vacation, <laughs> so, I mean, that's a no-brainer. So, we're going to be traveling home on New Year's Eve, just, you know, pray for us. Because <laughs> I feel, I fear that the roads are going to be insane. I would have rather have left today, but I'm not the one driving. So, you know, what, what Dada wants to do is what we do. So, alright, well, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for supporting me through this. The comments you guys leave... You have no idea how much those mean to me. You have no idea how much I take those to heart. I read every single one of them, and I try to respond to every single one of them, and you guys are my support group, and I don't know if you know that, or if you just, you know, come to watch another video, but it means the world to me that you comment and, and you watch it at all, and it just, thank you for, for being my support group. All right, I'll catch you guys sometime tomorrow. All right, bye.